Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Nittany Draws. I'm Nittany and today I wanted to bring you a speed video of my sort of live painting thing that I did for the Festival of the Honeybee out in Ypsilanti, Michigan, which is my hometown. Um, Ipsy is a sort of college town. It's where Eastern Michigan University is and it's also sort of a suburb of the University of Michigan. So there's a, a pretty thriving art community through there and this particular piece and this whole festival is surrounding about the, the honeybee and the plight of the honeybee and its disappearance in order to help raise awareness and in order to celebrate a creature that honestly if we don't have them we will all die. So my inspiration for this piece was that I so I, I had a very limited amount of time in which I could finish this piece. I had two hours to from a blank canvas to a finished piece. I had to have it finished. And acrylic paint takes a little while to dry, so I knew I had to factor those dry times in, so I needed to do something fairly simple. And so what I ended up doing was just a tree branch with a honey hive hanging from it and then some tree limbs in the foreground. And I used sort of like a like a honey colored yellow for the background and then I had this limited palette in order to make it so that it was a little bit more effective in telling its little story. I ended up at the very very end adding in a couple of little honeybees because they're so cute. Um, so I spent just under two hours working on this. I went there directly after work after working an eight hour shift and I was pretty tired. I had done a couple of little thumbnail sketches while I was on my break and this is the one that ended up winning. It's just because the, the, I don't know, the, the, the feeling of it felt a little bit more like something that the average viewer would enjoy. So I ended up deciding that this was the right piece for me to create. So once I finally got to the end of it, which was exhausting, uh, the paint was taking forever to dry and I really didn't want to put it into my brand new car. So I ended up leaving it behind in sort of an art abandonment style, hoping that it would go home with somebody who appreciates the artwork and wanted to have something like this in their home. I honestly don't know if it ever got picked up because I just left it there. Uh, <laughs> hopefully it did. Hopefully it's not just sitting on a street corner somewhere getting all wet. But if it is, that I mean, that's the risk you take when you leave art out for abandonment. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw, make sure to subscribe so you can see more. And then also I'm going to be releasing videos from now on on Saturdays. So if you are ready to see what I do, make sure to follow and make sure to subscribe and check me out on Instagram because that's where I make all of my main posts. Anyway, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye.